What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking pelican cases. I'm giving you three tips on the pick and pluck foam that they sell with their cases. I have the uh, Pelican 1560. The funny thing is, after filming a bunch of this and making mistakes, I looked at this. It comes with instructions. Now, am I an instructions person? Maybe not. I think after I read the instructions, I thought, Maybe I should be in the selections person. So we'll get right into it. Tip number one, I would say, would be to map it out. Lay all your items flat onto the foam and pick out the places that you want them all to sit. Pro tip, and it's not really a pro tip because it's also in the instructions, is to use toothpicks. So you can use those toothpicks to plot out your points. That way you can remove the items and you'll know where they are while you're plucking out the foam. Another suggestion I have for mapping it out would be make sure you leave at least two spaces of perforations between each item just because I found that if you only have one layer it really doesn't give you a lot of protection and when you are reaching for the items in and out it might compromise that small wall if that lips and tails then you don't have a wall at all and you don't want that and once you've mapped everything out and plucked all the foam it's definitely hard to come back from so try and map it out make sure you leave two spaces in between this actually isn't in the instructions so here's a tip for me so tip number two is go vertically when you can with things like lenses or monitors or whatever it might be yeah put them in vertically if you can if they fit obviously with my 7200 did not fit as you can see here so we decided to go horizontally with that but with like the 35 the 85 the 20 mil all those lenses fit perfectly vertical so it takes up less space in the on the case now for the items that do go vertically i would suggest when you map it out, map out your spot and then remove the first layer of foam and make sure you map out the exact same spot on the bottom as well. I definitely don't suggest reaching through the first layer and grabbing out the foam from the second layer because it has potential for ruining the top layer and you don't want to do that. So if you want it to sit at the perfect height, like something like the 35, which is a shorter lens, take the foam section that you already removed, place it on top of the cavity you already created on top of the item, saw that pull it off, and then place that back into the bottom of the case, then it's at its perfect height. And that brings me to the third and final tip. Definitely take out chunks instead of individual pieces. That way when you are doing something like customizing the height, it's a perfect fit, as well as, keep looking over here because the pelican case is over here, as well as if you do maybe have an issue or something, you can keep those full pieces of foam and potentially use them to repair the maybe the walls that you've broken down oh, I'm not talking about relationship here breaking down walls just getting closer to each other you know speaking of which if you feel like we've gotten closer at all please subscribe back to the repairing the walls um, to fix the walls Pelican suggests either using a rubber cement or a spray adhesive the one they suggest specifically is, let me check the instructions, the 3M Super 77. Pelican is definitely something I suggest any filmmaker who has a lot of gear or has a lot of expensive gear. I definitely think it's a great investment to protect that because as much as we say gear is not important, for a lot of us like myself, it's a livelihood. So definitely get yourself one of these before you pick out the foam. Watch this video so you make sure you, you don't mess up like I did. That being said, you might not have a lot of gear and you might just have a smaller setup and that's okay. But if you are looking to vlog and have a need for a small vlogging tripod, I just did a review on the PGY Tech Mantis Pod Pro, which you can check out here. Thanks for watching, hope it was helpful and I'll see you guys next time.